Games Introvert Maxim back for a rare video game playthrough. Today we're going to play The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Okay, without further ado, let's go into it. So I've already got a save. So I'm using this stream to test out a few things. Okay. Uh, obviously I've played it before. So I've progressed into this temple. Uh, let me just change up a few things. So for those that don't know, this type of Zelda was what used to be the handheld Zeldas. Right, back when Nintendo had the Game Boy series and the handheld, there'll be two types of Zeldas. There'll be one that exists on the Game Boy, be one that exists on the main console. So this is an iteration of the of the handheld version. So it's a top-down uh, type of Zelda. So I'm, as we chop it up, I'm just going to try and talk through. Really just chop it up, talk about random things. But again, I also want to test the quality of these streams as well. So I'm live in the living room. How's everyone doing, man? How's everyone doing? It's been a while, I know. Haven't really been that consistent with the content. But it is what it is, man. I think the highlight of my channel was back probably about two years ago when we were talking about the Black British stuff. Do you do you agree? You know, the content was entertaining and it was topical. There was always something of interest to talk about. Even on a low spell, there was something to talk about. But to be honest, that type of content was just too draining. Actually, let me try something. It's just too draining, too controversial. Uh, it, and it brings too many crazy people, you know. Huh, how can we get up there? Okay, that's a mystery. So for those that don't know, this game, you've got various tools, particularly enemy monsters that you can use for puzzles. So for example, if this is frozen, you can use this to block the ice. So you can go forward. You can do it again. Uh, let's see. So yeah, there is a thinking element to these Zelda games, especially when it comes to these type of dungeons. But yeah, I think those were good times, content-wise. It, it made me very focused and eager to keep going at it because I truly felt like, you know, I might, I'm not gonna say change the world with the content, but it's obviously something that's pressing to a lot of us. Um, yeah, and it was just very real. But again, unfortunately, the trade-off is dealing with crazy people in many cases, people with probably mental disorders, you know, and I don't say that lightly, I say that with respect, but dealing with people with mental disorders for a long period of time can be very draining. And that's just me being, oof, that's just me being honest. Very draining. So yeah, this game is a top-down Zelda, but there's also uh, platformer puzzle elements to it. It 
can come across a bit janky to be honest with you like quite random we've got all these random tools but I guess it's good to play in in small bursts uh, let's see what can we do okay we can use this okay cool so yeah you know the typical Zelda style will be Link Whoa. Will be Link doing the sword fighting. Right, but in this game, Link needs to be rescued by Zelda. So this is Zelda actually playing through. And she's all about wisdom, quote unquote. So it's more about solving puzzles, using creatures that she can control. Let me just top up my juice. So yeah, this is pretty much a test stream. I'm using my, the dodgy camera, right? But of course, I've got better cameras, so I will use that in time. So I've been here before. I've gone through that little cavern. I just need to do this again. So hey, you can use monsters. Oh. Basically use the abilities of the monsters that you capture. So yeah, I'm gonna try and use this bat to just glide, just like that. So I'm hoping the quality of the stream is good. Uh oh, uh, close. It's kind of like Pokemon to some degree, where you, you use monsters to do your fighting. What am I doing? Okay. Oh. So if you're watching, let me know what you think was your favorite arc when it comes to Falcon, you know, the Fal the channel. I've gone through uh, various arcs. And again, for me, it's not so much a business, it's more about creativity, you know, and talking about relevant things. Okay, let's see the map. I think I've been here. Uh, do we have a key? No. Okay, we need a key. We need to go down here then. Okay, I remember this area. That's how you learn new creatures. Beat them and you can use their abilities. Okay, so remember I need to get this across without turning it into ice. So this little fire orb. So today I've actually made a few videos that I'm gonna post next week on the channel whoa okay let's see if we can go here nope we can't get the go of it so I have to go back and get it uh, and one of these videos was a full 360 video in my office uh, oh yeah, we can jump up. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I think I get it. What if I summoned a bit of water? Can I 
Okay, good. So yeah, so again, very much has puzzle elements to this. Just need to use your brain. What does this do? Okay, so that's heated, that's melted some ice. Okay, perfect. Now we can advance. So yeah, I made a video today about the importance of introverts living alone. Now I tend to make these videos in different, uh, you know, different times I make these sort of videos because as I talk about introvert stuff, as I research introvert stuff, I'm just understanding why certain things are important for us. And I say us because I know most people online who, you know, especially on YouTube, are introverts. <laughs> Even though we don't want to admit it. So I think the stuff that I'm talking about in these type of videos is very pertinent to them, to us as introverts. But yeah, if you can re recount, I've made various videos about moving out of the family home and why it's important to live alone. And this is just one of them down in my office so you can see my new living space a little bit. And I'm quite pleased with it. I think I did it in one take, so it should come across as a bit more natural, a bit more uh, down to earth, you know. So look out for that. Okay, so this puzzle. This is what I like about Zelda games, to be honest. It's thinking. It's not just hack and slash type of stuff. So clearly we have to use these ice blocks or something. And I think with these buttons, we have to press it at the same time. So there's something we have to do to make sure it presses at the same time. Let me try something that always moves uh, there was a statue yes the armos that moves let's see if that moves it no it doesn't aha uh -huh, actually yes we can do it if that is there we move this out of the way Let's drop this, let's let this go, and let's see if we can jump at the same time. So hopefully that almost drops on that plaque. We do it at the same time? Perfect, good. Okay, should be a key. Okay, good. So yeah, this is what I like about Zelda games, man. It's all brain. Especially when it comes to these temples and dungeons. You know, it's nice to sit down and think, okay. It's gonna be tough, we need to beat these enemies. So again, here, all of these are creatures that we've taken out and we've learned their ability. So now you can fight them. Or use them to fight, use them to do your bidding. So this game came out about two weeks ago. Um, I haven't been able to play it as much, but you know, here and there, every every now and then, it's good enough. Okay, so we get the map. So, what's been happening? On the news today, it's been reported right today, the day of recording is Saturday night, I'm going to post this on a Sunday, but they've deported a lot of Nigerians and Ghanaians, it seems, from UK territories. Okay, so this is a minibus.
Okay, we'll get, hold that thought. We'll come back to it after I beat this. Let's see. So there's so many ways to fight. Let's see if we can use this. Let's see if that works. Okay, might, let's try an ice thing. Okay, what if we try and attack it now? Okay, so we have to turn it to ice. Whoa, it's split up, okay, cool. Whoa. Okay, let's see if that will do it. Okay, let's get this one. Okay, so they're splitting up like sails. Okay, not quite yet, let's see. So this is basically the main feature of this Zelda. You're using other animals or enemies to fight. And then when you can, you can transform into the sword fighter where you're kind of fighting like Link, but it's only temporary. All right, but it's quite interesting uh, mechanics. It's kind of like one of those Monster Hunter games where you use monsters that you collect to fight. All right, mixed in with the puzzle elements of Zelda. It's quite cool. Although my health is low. See if we can get this. Whoa. Uh oh. What do we have? Uh, nothing. Okay. Actually, we have some food. So, I guess this is the thing about these modern Zelda games is that. You can just use the food that you get in the wild to heal up, which is a bit of a cheat. So there's, it's melting. I guess those are hot springs. So 
a quite a long minibus. Oh, they melt faster when they're in the hot springs. Makes sense. It's actually an interesting boss, it's hot when it's in the hot springs and it's cold when it's out. Okay, so let's actually heal up in the hot springs. So what was I saying? Yeah, there's a record number of migrants being caught and sent back to Africa, man. And I just want to echo my thoughts on immigration, illegal migration, okay? And that is something that we cannot tolerate. That is something that I believe any taxpaying citizen must be opposed to because it doesn't make sense. Obviously, my heart goes out to people who need the asylum, but fortunately, there's so many people who just take the mickey out of the system, right? Abuse the system, don't care. Whoa, okay, it block, it freezes the ice. So very interesting dynamics here. The water will bring you up. Uh, let's see. How can we get up there? Okay, so what does it as well? Try to understand what the fire is meant to do, does it? Oh, it's still freezing, okay. So yeah, for those that don't know, when it comes to Zelda games, when you reach certain dungeons and temples, it becomes more of a puzzle type of game. So you solve things by using your brain, thinking about certain tasks, looking at patterns, looking for patterns. So one of those typical Zelda, Zelda tropes is lighting up uh, unlit torches. And you know, this is my thing when it comes to games because of course you got the macho men, the masculine macho high value men, whatever you want to call them on the internet that will tell you games are for kids, you know, you should not be playing games, 
if you play games, you must be a low life, and you know you must not be going hard in life, right? I think to some degree that could be true, but that's more of a stereotype, in my opinion. I think most people know when it's okay and when it's reasonable enough to play a video game. You know, the assumption that everyone's some sort of addict who is just online 24-7 in a video game playing Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto or something, that's just a very bad stereotype. That really doesn't help men when we think about mental health, psychology, because basically a lot of these shaming lines is just basically shaming male activities, things that men like to do. You know, it's mostly men who make these video games for men to buy them and play them. You know? Uh, let's see if they can ignite themselves and go back. Ah, that's cool. So we did it. Okay, so all torches are lit. We can go forward. And I guess that's just one of the things that I've always wanted to echo when it comes to my content. In my opinion, a masculine man symbolizes a person who is a rugged individual, who is not fearful, who is not shamed and embarrassed for what they like to do, who is able to walk forward with pride in themselves. I think that is the difference between a stereotypical man and a woman, right? stereotypical woman finds it hard to do this because she's more intertwined with the social fabric and therefore can come across as more agreeable um, more privy to how people feel around her and therefore makes a bit more um, socially attuned to the society whereas men are supposed to be the trendsetters men should be unashamed unafraid to go against the grain men should not be shamed men should not be told what to do you know I'm not trying to be no he man <laughs> you know macho man but the reality is you know a lot of women that actually want a masculine man will appreciate a man who is that way inclined you know who isn't a mumbling fumbling buffoon who is worried about what people think of them Whoa, so loads of enemies here. Let's see. Okay, let's try and use another enemy. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, men should be very um, resistant to being shamed. 
Like today I went down the high street and these days I wear quite bright colors, you know, green, teal, yellow trainers. And I'm pretty sure there was a few, you know, El Gibbet type guys that were kind of looking at me funny. I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday I was wearing a pink, a pink t-shirt. I think I got some looks from some type of El Gibbets guy, like, I don't know, trying to suss me out if I'm a part of that kind of group. You know, and to me, I'm not offended, it's just more like meh, you know. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know, and that's strength in your in your character and your personality. You're not one of these guys, pause, pause, oh, pause. You know? You don't have to be like that. Just be confident in who you are. Okay, so you see we have to melt this. Let's see what we have to do. I love these puzzles, man. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this orb will melt the things. Oh, we can't bring it to the next room, okay. So we can only use it in this room. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, that's no good. Let's try another thing. Right, yeah, so this series, is a chilled out Sunday stream series, like why not, it makes sense, you know, if you're around, chill out with me, if not, cool, if it's not your thing, cool, there should be other videos for you, so I want to try and have a bit more variety in my content, I've always liked variety, because that allows me to express my creativity, you know, and I understand that when it comes to YouTube, YouTube prefers you to just be really just doing the same videos all over, you know, doing the same videos all the time, right? The same background, the same cadence, the same, you know, keywords and topics. That's what YouTube wants, but again, my I'm in control of my YouTube. I don't do specifically what the algorithm wants. I do what I want. Okay. Well, they rock it out. Let's go and get that orb. So comment below if you rate this game. I mean, I know a lot of you are too cool also for Nintendo games, you know, and that's that's funny to me, man, because some of you are certified nerds and you're proud of being nerds, but there's a funny, um, like, class thing going on when it comes to Nintendo gamers versus, uh, you know, non-Nintendo gamers. It seems nerds view Nintendo gamers as... Uh, basically kiddie which again is a stereotype that I would like to disprove because I think Nintendo games are solid games thought provoking games great storylines well made gameplay you know that really resonates and you can play with your family as well and I think these are these things are important especially when you if you become a family person. So 
Okay, so that's melted stuff. Okay, cool. So this temple's really a fire and ice temple, which is the first that I've seen in a Zelda game. Working with fire and ice to create new pathways. Pretty cool. Okay, so this part is melted. But how long have we been rolling for? What time is it? Okay, it's just gone past half an hour. I like to keep these about 30 minutes long. So I think I'm going to call it on this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the games? What should I play? What can I improve? What can we discuss in the next one? You know, let us know. Uh, yeah, and see you in the next one. Peace. Whoa, peace.